A new executive order will allow groups of 50 people to gather at a time in Tennessee. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee says that he will be signing that order to, quote, create more consistency to allow us to open up our economy and to open up our lives in a safe way, but in a greater way moving forward, end quote. And now today, larger attractions are set to reopen following the release of those guidelines. Kristen Gallant joins us live with what we can expect to see here in the Tri-Cities. Kristen, what exactly is happening this weekend? Well, Sydney, today is the day that large no contact attractions can reopen. Now, as those COVID-19 restrictions are continuing to lighten throughout Tennessee, the latest guidelines from Governor Bill Lee have been released for large attractions in places like music venues, hands-on Discovery Center, Kingsport Speedway, Pet Wetlands Water Park, and the Kingsport Carousel all falling under this category. Now, guidelines include the daily screening for COVID-19 symptoms of all staff reporting to work. Staff should wear cloth face coverings. Businesses should provide hand sanitizing stations in staff areas and staff should increase hygiene practices. This executive order will allow groups of up to 50 people to participate in social or recreational activities up from groups of 10 to 50. As a part of this um, executive order as announced earlier this week, larger attractions uh, and bars may reopen if their operations are consistent with the Tennessee Pledge guidelines. Again, these are all recommended guidelines. It is recommended that only large attractions and businesses that can effectively practice social distancing open to protect both employees and customers. Now, a lot of these attractions that News Channel 11 has spoken to say that they will be making sure that they clean their facility multiple times throughout the day. Guys?